we have a diamond painting we're going to do. A few weeks ago there was something on the news that caught our interest and my husband surprised me with this diamond painting. So, before we get started, I'm going to use my heart shaped trays and I'm going to use my ruler. And this kit came with a standard kit, rope, wax, a couple of baggies, and a pen. And the colors are really pretty. It's a sea green, bluish color, and we have got blues and orange and red, pinks. We've got gorgeous. Now, sorry about the crinkle. Whoops, I got escapings. Let's put two over there. It's round. It's a full drill. It is a, I forgot, 30 by 40. And it's really pretty. Stick that aside. Are you ready? Look at him. We have two flamingos. And I'm going to tell you why we got this a little bit later. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this, get it up, ready to start, and I'll be back. All right. Let's get started. So I'm going to be back. I'm going to get a bit of this done. So don't go away. Alright, so we're back at it again. I've got quite a bit on the top gun, just working on the background. inspired us to get this. My husband picked this one out, by the way. It started in 2005, two greater flamingos, which are the largest of the flamingo species, escaped from the Sedwick County Zoo in Wichita, Kansas. They were about three years old and their wings had not been clipped. They had numbers and not names. Their numbers are 347 and 492. 347 has only been spotted once in the 17 years. 492, on the other hand, has been seen several times. The latest was this past March in Texas near La Vaca on the coast. Both 347 and 492 have leg bands, which is how they have been identified. 492 looks healthy, and they're not going to try to capture them, or him, I should say, or her, I don't know, because they don't want to disturb the other flocks of different birds because he wasn't with flamingos. So he is still at large. And that is why we chose this. We have two flamingos, 347 and 492. <laughs>